crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I wanted to talk about uh, Wim Merton's uh, Shot and Echo. Now this was released back in 92 by Usura. And although it was released in 1992, this record has such an like a late 80s vibe to it as far as the artwork's concerned, the vocals and the melodies and the harmonies, they all sound like he's at his catchiest at this point, but it also sounds so 80s. I mean, the female vocals on here, they are reminiscent of early Enya off, say, the Celts. And this entire record, this is, like I said, this is when he was going through like a hyper sort of catchy creative phase where everything he attempted hit the mark. And... This entire record is really, really fun, and I absolutely love the vocals because it's like I said, it, it, they remind me so much of the late 80s, and it's such a good feeling that I get when I hear them because it's like I'm transported back to that period. And even like the album artwork and just the overall vibe of the record is very 1980s. And even though this was released in 92, you can't escape that. I love the vocals. I love the harmonies. I love how staccato some of the rhythms are on here and how it works so well. Like there's like an arpeggiated aspect to a lot of this and ish. And it he really pulls it off. And it, this is this is one of his catchiest records that I own. And then Silver Linings on here, track five. And although I love Silver Lining and it's one of my favorites off here and it is catchy, I find it to be really heavy and rather melancholy. Whereas the rest of the record seems to be more on like an upswing and it's got more energy and it's got a, a more positive vibe to it. Silver Lining, it's, it's like, it's not downbeat. It's not depressing. It's not negative, but it's just more subdued and it, it, it's a, touch more sad i suppose despite the title of the track being silver lining it just feels a little heavier than everything else on here because the the vocals for the most part like i said they, they remind me of any the celts like they're very i don't know it's hard to explain they're very very they're very upwardly mobile like <laughs> they're 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 so catchy and fun and Silver Lining is really catchy as well, but it's more serious and more somber. And like I said, a touch more melancholy. It, it's not, like I said, in any way depressing, but it is also the longest track on here, which is odd too, because uh, this is the two CD that comes with a sense of place. I'm not gonna discuss a sense of place here. I'll do a separate review for that at some point. But track five on Shot and Echo is Silver Lining, and it's the longest song on here, clocking in at a little over 10 minutes. And then track five on A Sense of Place is coincidentally the longest track, clocking in at two seconds past 13 minutes. Now, I'm sure that's just a coincidence, but nonetheless, it is there, and I did find it a little odd. But yeah, um, I love this record. I love how it has that late 80s vibe, or you could argue even through the early 90s, because the first part of any new decade retains the look, sound, and feel of the decade prior until the 90s finds its sound, which would be defined by Smash Mouth and the Backstreet Boys and the fun-loving criminals and Spice Girls. Yeah, so I'm going to go. So thank you so much for sitting with me while I attempted to discuss Wim Merton's uh, 1992, Shot and Echo, it kicks ass. It is a lot of fun, and the vocals are very early Enya. And I'm going to go. So don't forget to do something nice for everybody or somebody. I keep saying everybody, so maybe you should do something nice for everybody, even though I will argue that is a little more difficult. If you can't pull it off for everybody, do it for somebody. And yeah, thank you so much for sitting with me. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.